The goal of the new Myeloma Crowd Research Initiative is to find a cure for multiple myeloma so patients like me and others don't die of this disease. It's just that simple. For the very first time, myeloma patients are joining with top myeloma researchers to help find and fund a cure for this disease. Some people might wonder if it's audacious for patients to think that they can make a big difference in curing their own disease. We think it's possible. Even though great work is being done by good organizations around the world, funding has dropped steadily from the NIH since the year 2003, and important work is now not being funded. Where will the cure for multiple myeloma come from? No one knows, but we aim to find it. We are totally and grossly underfunded. We have $2,000 per life loss. That's basically the $42 million that's spent on myeloma of the $5 billion in total. And on average, it's more than $8,000 per life loss. And so that's one quarter. We get one quarter of the number. So and the MMRF, along with the IMF, and some great doctors have done a lot of great things to do more with such meager resources, yet we have to do something different if we expect to get a difference. And in the last four years, there's been no change in the overall survival. It remains at four years. So uh, like uh, somebody once said, the uh, definition of insanity is if you do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. Patients are becoming advocates and are reaping the rewards. For me, meeting with my doctor and making informed decisions meant everything. It was very empowering. When I was first diagnosed um, with multiple myeloma, I used the internet to learn all I could about the disease. I attended some patient and family seminars. I joined support groups. And the overwhelming message I heard was that people who were actively involved in their care had the best outcomes. So I decided that I really needed to educate myself and start advocating for myself. First, we created a team of amazing researchers that would help us scientifically validate the ideas. Then we built a team of educated and active myeloma patients. We knew that together, we could find and select projects worthy of funding. We began in February by issuing a call for letters of intent from researchers throughout the world, and we received back 36 high-quality proposals from inside the United States and internationally. In March, the Scientific Advisory Board scored the proposals and selected the top 10. Now it's time for the patient community to get involved. We're interviewing each researcher in the top 10 on the Maloma Crowd Radio Show. And it's time patients can listen in, ask questions, share the research with others, and learn more about these projects that can be funded. When all the proposals are received and all the shows are complete, the Scientific Advisory Board and the Patient Advisory Board will select a limited number of proposals to create campaigns around, and then we will be asking the patient community to help us share the word and fund the proposals. Anyone who's relapsed more than one or two times becomes high risk. So saying you're going to try to help patients that are high risk, that means basically any late stage patient, and of course some that have the genetic markers that make it less likely that they'll respond to treatment earlier in the process. This is a way for you to save yourself. The thing that excites me about the research initiative is we're going to take 100% of the money raised by patients for a program selected in part by patients and all of that money is going to go to support one or two key clinical trials and, and that's amazing. Nobody's ever done that before. I think it's the myeloma patients that can drive this. Their families, their friends, you know, people who are concerned and uh, will help to be part of the solution. Today, we can gather those around us, our supporters, our family, and friends, and we can create teams, and we can start raising funds around this very important initiative. A cure for multiple myeloma is out there. Let's find it.